Hey, what's going on today, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and review of the iFootage Cobra 2 monopod, as well as the Komodo K5 Video Fluid Head. So let's get into it. Now, quick disclaimer, iFootage actually makes two versions of the Cobra 2 monopod. They make the A180 and the C180. And the A and A180 stands for aluminum, and the C and C180 stands for carbon fiber. So in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the A180, which is the aluminum version. Now, as of May of 2020, the iFootage Cobra 2 A180 is going to run you $140 US, and that yeah. will most likely include free shipping if you order it from Amazon or B&H. The Komodo K5, on the other hand, is going to run you $150 US. Weight-wise, the A180 comes in at 1.7 pounds, and the K5 video head comes in at 1.6 pounds. So when you combine the two, you're looking at a combined weight of 3.3 pounds. Even though the C180 is actually a little bit lighter than the A180, a total setup weight of 3.3 pounds is still extremely light yeah. for a video head as well as a monopod, especially if you're doing a lot of run and gun shooting. Height-wise, it comes in at a minimum height of 5.3 inches and a maximum whopping height of 71 inches. The most important spec of all is gonna be payload capacity, and the A180 certainly doesn't disappoint. The A180 comes in with a capacity of 17 pounds, which is enough to carry basically any RED camera, Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro, pretty much any of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, pretty much any of the Canon cinema cameras out there, as well as my Canon 1DX Mark II. It pretty much can cover any ground when it comes to weight limit, except uh, when you're getting into some of those like, you know, airy cameras. Some of those older airy cameras are pretty heavy. I know it has a higher payload capacity for a monopod. I obviously have to let you guys know you don't want to leave a monopod just standing on its own because it literally just takes like the slightest bit of wind to knock anything over. It doesn't matter if you're shooting on like a point and shoot or if you've got like a red monstro on there. It doesn't matter. Always make sure you're keeping an eye on your monopod because you just wanna avoid any possible mistake, especially when you're out there on a shoot. Now that we've gotten a lot of the specs out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the most important part of this video, the unboxing. Oh. So right out the gate, the packaging is very impressive. Um, it comes obviously with the fluid head, which let's get this guy out of here. Oh man, this is nice. Wow, a lot heavier than I thought it would. Uh, this is really, really nice. Um, I've owned all types of tripod heads out there. Um, and probably the last tripod head I owned was a Manfrotto. And this is right up there with it when it comes to quality. Um, it's very heavy duty. Um, it's also got the balancing uh, liquid ball on there as well. I'll drop the actual term in the video. Um, and then the most important part is the quick release plate, which is also really nice quality. I'm really impressed with the quality of this. And last but not least, we've got the arm out of there. And this is just your typical arm. Um, it's still got great quality, um, a lot higher than I expected it to be. All right, now that we got the head out of the way. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's get into the unboxing. So I've got the monopod out of the box and the first thing you notice is it comes in this really cool, sleek iFootage bag. 
I don't know what it is about tripod companies. They just love the combination of red and black. I think this one kind of stands out a little bit more because it's smaller. I'm used to carrying around like heavy duty tripods, but this bag is really, really nice. And you know, it'll just be so nice to just be able to throw this guy on, you know, if I'm going on a hike or something like that. And uh, really, really impressed with the, um, the bag out the gate. Got the monopod out of the plastic and it just looks yeah. so crisp, so clean. Uh, I'll be honest, I went with this one over the, um, the carbon fiber version because I just love black. Like I love things to be sleek and you know, car I'm just not a huge fan of carbon fiber. Um, and this just looks so good. Like I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say, it just looks really good. So as I mentioned before, this monopod is 1.7 pounds and it just feels great in the hands. Um, you know, it, it looks great, it feels great. Um, let's go ahead and get the head on it and uh, let's get this guy set up. All right, so guys, don't think I'm an idiot. I just figured something out. There's a tiny rubber covering on this that um, goes over the quarter 20 screw and you basically just take this little black cap off. So once again, it's on Pop this guy off and that's how you actually screw your video head onto it Just like that guys, this is the monopod. This is the setup. I got it all on there. It took literally, literally seconds to get this guy set up. It looks great, it feels great. Um, but I wanted to mention one thing that really sold me on this monopod and that's actually gonna be the feet. So I saw a video uh, not too long ago. I think it was Armando Ferreira on YouTube. I'm like, what is this system? Like what? What is this? This looks so cool, like I need this. And that's literally how I bought this monopod. But I love these feet. Uh, they're really strong and sturdy. And uh, probably the number one feature of the feet is you can actually pop them off. So you just simply pull down as such and boom, you literally have, you can put the fluid head on here and you've got a tabletop tripod, guys. I'm not making this up. This is probably one of the coolest monopods that you'll ever see. All right guys, that's it, that's the video. This thing is gonna come in handy for me, especially when I'm running and gunning. I love the look, the feel, the setup is super simple, the price is more than reasonable, and the flexibility of this system is just off the charts. So if you guys have any questions about the system, just feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Once again, my name is Trey. I live here in Hawaii. I love it here so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Aloha.